Hello, uh, my name is uh, Koichi Nakamura. Uh, I came from Japan uh, for this event. Uh, and uh, I'm a CEO of a startup company uh, located in Tokyo. And uh, we are doing uh, uh, research, research and development about deep learning, especially on the acceleration of deep learning on Raspberry Pi. So uh, uh, we want to uh, introduce our, our work uh, today. So uh, this is my, my name is Koichi Nakamura. And uh, uh, this is my social network account. Uh, if you have some interest about uh, my work, our, our work, uh, please contact uh, this account. And, uh, uh, and Elaine is a, a startup, uh, as I said. And uh, our vision is to make it possible to handle every information, every information in physical world uh, by software. So uh, we have started uh, 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 creating a sensing device for the first stage of my company. And now uh, we are uh, studying the deep learning uh, based uh, visual recognition uh, technology. And uh, we are creating a platform service for uh, real world sensing applications, uh, ActCast, uh, which is uh, uh, will be released this year. And uh, uh, second is software licensing, and uh, third is uh, cooperating with the car industry in uh, Toyota Group uh, to develop autonomous car. And uh, uh, this is our first project. It is uh, not uh, the development is uh, has suspended now, so uh, don't contact us to about uh, getting these <laughs> devices. Uh, this is Actobar. Uh, this is a very fast our uh, product. Uh, there is a Raspberry Pi computer module on the PCB. And uh, uh, the, the shape of it is light bulb. So it is a kind of a smart sensing, smart sensing <laughs> light bulb. So, uh, and uh, it, uh, it, this device uh, equips uh, two cameras, uh, RGB and uh, infrared in the front of the uh, light bulb and uh, can uh, detect some events using the uh, visual recognition uh, technology. Uh, but uh, when uh, we, uh, developing uh, this device, uh, we realized that uh, the computing resource of Raspberry Pi uh, is not fully useless at, at that point. Uh, and uh, also, uh, I realized that the GPU of Raspberry Pi is very powerful in comparison to its uh, price. So uh, we, we have uh, started a study of uh, GPGPU on uh, Raspberry Pi's GPU. This is my hobby project. Uh, maybe it is useless, but uh, it is uh, very funny. So see this. Uh, there is uh, 16 Raspberry Pi zeros in uh, one uh, single board. Uh, it is uh, called the Pi Zero Cluster Board. And uh, uh, when I received uh, the first Raspberry Pi Zero, uh, actually I was a, a researcher of supercomputer at the university, so uh, uh, immediately I wanted to uh, arrange the <laughs> Raspberry Pi Zero in one PCB. Uh, there's no purpose, but I wanted. So, uh, so, so I have created this PCV. But you know, uh, uh, at that at that time, we can buy uh, we can buy only one Raspberry Pi Zero. So the uh, it it the it delivery is limited. So, so I attached just one uh, Raspberry Pi Zero on this PCV, and I tweeted. Uh, we have almost finished uh, creating Pi Zero cluster board, but I cannot get uh, remaining 15 uh, Pi Zeros. Then the Mag Magpie team uh, sent us uh, the 15 Pi Zeros, and uh, this project uh, was featured on the Magpie uh, 43. And uh, this is uh, our current project. Acceleration deep learning on uh, Raspberry Pi's GPU. So see this uh, video. This is the structure of GoogleNet, uh, a kind of neural net developed by uh, Google, 2015. Uh, it can recognize a thousand uh, class object. And here is camera. And here is uh, LCD. And uh, the right bottom button is the shutter. Yeah, and now uh, it. This software recognizes here is volcano in the front of the camera and the golden retriever. A lion. 
and uh, some dog. I don't. <laughs> and uh, 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 this is very uh, interesting uh, video, maybe. Uh, Raspberry Pi can, Raspberry Pi Zero can run this program also with this speed. Yeah, so if you can see, there's a computer keyboard. Uh, and today uh, I have brought uh, our demos here. So after this talk, uh, play, uh, please come to here and uh, uh, play with it. So uh, I brought uh, Pi Zero based, uh, the, it is uh, the mobile net V2 uh, model. It can recognize a thousand uh, class object uh, with uh, seven FPS. And uh, maybe this display, is, uh, this display is tiny, so uh, after this talk, please come to here to see, see it. And uh, also, uh, this is an object localization demo, so it can recognize where the person or where the a desk or a face, and uh, it can estimate the age and gender of the person uh, very seamlessly, using only Raspberry Pi's resources. So these demos don't send uh, data to the server. It, it runs uh, uh, offline, offline. So it, it uses only the resources of a Raspberry Pi Zero SOC, a Raspberry Pi SOC. <clears throat> so uh, this is the benchmark of our software. Uh, in comparison to TensorFlow, TensorFlow, which is uh, the Google's uh, deep learning framework, uh, for with the uh, same model and same accuracy, uh, our software runs uh, 40, 49 times faster than TensorFlow uh, in case of Raspberry Pi Zero, and uh, 6.3 times faster in case of Raspberry Pi Three. And uh, uh, the frame rate is exceed eight, eight FPS. And uh, uh, as I said, uh, these two uh, programs runs completely same model, so. We don't uh, introduce some approximation on the model. We, we don't uh, use approximation. So, so our software runs a fully precision model with a 32-bit floating point. And uh, we don't reduce number of channels and the number of layers uh, and la uh, resolution. Uh, so uh, the, the, our software and the TensorFlow uh, both uh, runs exactly as uh, takes the same input and, uh, and uh, outputs the same result. So uh, we just speed up uh, without changing anything. <clears throat> and uh, this is latest benchmark. Uh, we achieved uh, 10 FPS with uh, 1,000 class image recognition. And uh, with top five accuracy, is more than 90%. Uh, with uh, 224 by 24 resolution with 32-bit floating point on Raspberry Pi Zero, just $5 device. It is comparison. <clears throat> So uh, this is this is this is the the ninety five millisecond demo, <coughs> and uh, uh, this is comparison with uh, Mobius neural uh, neural computer stick. Uh, you know there is a Mobius com neural computer stick. Uh, uh, it is an accelerator of deep learning, and it can be used for Raspberry Pi, uh, and it costs uh, eighty dollar, eighty dollar, uh, and. Uh, uh, of course, uh, it is accelerator, so it is faster than our uh, result. Uh, but uh, uh, the difference is about 2.5 times, 2.5 times. So uh, for many applications, uh, 10 FPS is enough to, uh, to run practical applications. So uh, our technology can reduce a cost for deep learning applications significantly. Okay. And uh, uh, this is an uh, explanation of, of the GPU of Raspberry Pi. Uh, Raspberry Pi 3 and Raspberry Pi 0 equips completely the same GPU, uh, Broadcom's Video Core 4. It, its peak performance is 28.8 uh, uh, gigaflops. <laughs> Uh, it, it means uh, it can run at, uh, 28 giga operations, floating point operations per second. And uh, you know, see, uh, the, the peak performance of 
GPU for Pi 0 and Pi 3 is the same, completely the same. But, but you, uh, you know, uh, the CPU for Raspberry Pi 0 is uh, very low power in comparison to uh, Pi 3. So, but because the GPU performance is same, this, this speed with our software is uh, same with uh, Pi 0 and Pi 3. So both uh, runs with eight, eight point several uh, images per second. But uh, the, the CPU's power is uh, uh, significantly different. <coughs> this is a detailed architecture of uh, video card four. Uh, I don't explain the details about, about it, but uh, it equips a 12 uh, quad processing unit in, in the SOC. And uh, it can run a 16-way SIMD operation. Uh, and uh, add, add operation, uh, it can issue add operations and uh, multiplication operations at the same time, dual issue. So, uh, so the GPU of Raspberry Pi has uh, more than 300 power reason. So, uh, but uh, you know, there's actually uh, not much software to use this uh, GPU. So, so we have created a software to uh, use uh, video card 4 for GPGPU. Uh, I have created uh, the Python library for GPGPU on Raspberry Pi. It is published on the GitHub. So please try uh, it. And uh, uh, we have uh, published uh, several other uh, softwares and many more uh, softwares. Uh, and uh, the Q QMKL, QMKL is uh, actual implementation of uh, the matrix multiplication on GPU. So uh, you can test it with uh, Raspberry Pi. And uh, unfortunately, the, the software stack for deep learning is still not open sourced. And uh, uh, maybe, maybe <laughs> some part of it will be open sourced. Uh, but uh, I cannot. Uh, 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 I cannot yakusoku dekki nai nihongo desu kedo. Yeah, uh, but, uh, but, but please try uh, to use uh, these softwares and uh, 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 give us feedback. So uh, this is a research area of my company. Uh, we are studying a model architecture uh, to create a, a small size model but high precision. And uh, also we are uh, studying uh, optimizing graph compiler. It analyzes a computation graph, uh, which is a representation of neural net, uh, to uh, reduce the number of operations, but mathematically equivalent, or uh, the optimizing uh, the memory layout and many other things, uh, selecting optimal algorithms. And, uh, and the uh, library for specific hardware, uh, now we, uh, we publish the, the result uh, on Raspberry Pi, Raspberry Pi but uh, actually, we are working uh, on other uh, devices also. And uh, uh, near future, maybe uh, we can publish uh, some result uh, on other devices. Uh, yeah. So uh, we are uh, use, uh, studying uh, these three fields. And uh, these demos uses only a left-hand side uh, two areas result. So uh, we don't, we don't uh, Decrease the size of model for these demos. So it is just a benchmark, benchmarking demos. <clears throat> and uh, uh, this is our product, Actacast. Actacast is a platform for real world sensing. Uh, it will be released this year, so uh, you can try it. Uh, there's a three functionality. The first is uh, hosting uh, pre trained deep learning models to recognize something. For example, detecting uh, people, or detecting faces, or age, or gender, or uh, detecting some object, cars, uh, animals, I don't know, but <laughs> the pose estimation. So uh, we provide uh, uh, several uh, computer vision models. And, uh, uh, and uh, you can easily download the model to your Raspberry Pi, and uh, you can run it uh, with this speed. And, uh, and, uh, uh, and you can easily uh, configure the application what kind of uh, event you want to detect on the edge and uh, what kind of uh, sub, uh, services you want to send the data. And uh, third is management of devices and applications. Uh, Raspberry Pi series is the first uh, supported devices. <coughs> and 
uh, for the fast release, maybe the user is uh, uh, number of users is limited because uh, it is test, test release. So uh, if you have an uh, interest uh, in to use uh, this uh, technology on your project, your IoT project, uh, please contact us. Yeah, this is uh, the architecture platform, uh, ActuCast. So uh, ActuCast can host uh, several algorithms uh, with third-party vendors. Uh, many uh, many uh, software vendors can uh, create uh, good uh, algorithms to recognize something, but uh, they don't have the ability to deploy it to embedded devices or Raspberry Pi. So uh, they can upload their model to ActuCast, and, uh, and uh, our server can automatically optimize it for embedded devices, and the users can download the model to the Raspberry Pi or other, other devices. And, uh, and uh, uh, you can uh, send the data on the edge to some web services for notification something, or uh, visualization, or analytics, or a database, or many other things. And industry IoT, and uh, install marketing, and security camera is our, uh, our uh, uh, applications, uh, I, I imagine. But may, maybe other uh, IoT applications can be uh, there. So if you have a, a uh, Interesting idea, uh, please uh, share, uh, share with us. Okay. Oh, uh, this is uh, another ongoing project. Uh, Pi Zero Drone Hut. <laughs> it is just my hobby project, not my company. Uh, uh, I've designed this PCB. It is a hut of Pi Zero. Actually, here is a PCB. And, uh, uh, and combining our deep learning acceleration technology, I wanted to uh, fly uh, this drone uh, and uh, uh, run uh, self-localization with uh, camera. Uh, yeah, uh, its development is a bit tough, so I, uh, uh, I don't know when it fly, but uh, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, uh, when I succeeded, uh, I, I will publish it uh, in somewhere. <coughs> so uh, it, this is uh, the all, all about I. Uh, talk. Uh, so please contact uh, me uh, or my company uh, when you have interest in on us. Uh, left side is my uh, contacts and the uh, left, left side is uh, my company's information. And uh, also uh, my company is now hiring. So uh, engineers, uh, please welcome to contact us. And uh, uh, as I said, I brought demos. So feel free to call me after this uh, talk. Thank you very much.